here are a few axioms that actually might help you wake up if you embody them and understand them. Number one, awareness has no shape, color or location. It has no form. It is the self. It is also the interaction of itself with itself generating experience of form and phenomena. The eyes are an activity of, aware of awareness. Once again, the eyes are an activity of awareness in awareness that uh, localize what we call experience. Awareness cannot be divided. Uh, there is only one awareness. It cannot be divided, multiplied. So awareness is not personal, it is the only I. When we say I am, that's what we refer to. I am and the world are awareness. No object of perceptual or mental activity can exist apart from witnessing awareness. The objective world, what we call the objective world, arises in awareness, is known in awareness, subsides in awareness. Body, mind and universe are a unified activity in awareness. The objects and experiences that arise in awareness are made of awareness. They are modifications of awareness. So this is so important to understand. So just like uh, uh, the eyes cannot see themselves, the teeth cannot bite themselves, uh, the brain cannot experience itself. Okay? If you put a knife through the brain, nobody experiences pain, which means the brain is not the container of experience. The brain is also an experience. Please reflect on these facts because once you understand them, embody them, that's called Gyan Yoga. And Gyan Yoga is also a ticket to freedom.